the concept of me making a post, let's say, on my Zanga, and it blowing up and a million people seeing it was not possible. Yeah. That did not happen. That's not how it worked. It only worked through followers. There was no discoverability. It wasn't until Facebook and the news feed that things started to really become interconnected. So yeah, social skills, I would say it's for better and for worse because yes, they're like the, the upcoming generation is like learning social skills by being on the internet, being aware of more things. But also it's like, it's internet social skills. Those yeah. are different. That's they Call of Duty different. lobby. Yeah. Like it's not. I like how that that's everybody's go-to for like the toxic <laughs> I like mean, voice chat is you know what that I've been is. in a Call of Duty chat. I've been in there. I've heard what they say. I like, know what that's all about. Yeah, it, it distorts reality a little bit. I think that you're right because sports very physical thing. It does develop teamwork, even though if there is fighting, the social dynamics are still there. But the biggest part of that I didn't even get to, which is social responsibility. Mm, interesting. Because you are accountable to your teammates. It's one of the few things early in life, like other people experience it with their family and, and things along those lines. But when you're in sport, if you make a mistake, it hurts the team. It yeah. doesn't just hurt you, mm -hmm. but you you feel a responsibility to have to be able to perform so for the people around you. Yeah. And so you recognize that you have a responsibility to other people to improve or to practice or to be a part of it because a team is only as strong as its weakest link. That's a phrase that's said numerous times in sport constantly. Mm -hmm. It's even said in business. When it comes down to it, you have to grow together or else it doesn't work. This is probably the, the point above all else that I agree with the most. I do think more than almost any other activity you could do when growing up, especially in the youth category of stuff, social responsibility is a very tricky thing to ingrain in people. But yes, there, in sports, it really does do that because you, if you want to be a part of it, which is part of the social dynamics of it, like if you want to succeed, if you want to win, or if you want to just like be there for your teammates in your school, it's a free for all, right? Yeah. Education is just like a solo thing. Oh, I got an A, I got a B. Unless you're in a group project, was like once every quarter, maybe. You don't have these constant barrage of, I need to be there every day. I need to make sure I train good enough. I need to make sure I practice. I need to make sure because people are counting on me. I carry the team on my back. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, 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 go to this. My leg broke. My leg broke, but I got a score. <laughs> I got a score. <laughs> Love that video. Um, <laughs> but you know, that, uh, that, that, I would agree with. I would like to hear other suggestions of what could possibly teach more regularly, not better, because I bet there are better ways, but not more regularly than team sports. <laughs>